In this video, we will compare Webflow to Framer in four different categories, including pricing, Figma exports, the CMS, and the overall UI. When it comes to pricing, the biggest difference is with simpler landing pages and portfolio projects. Framer's mini plan is $5 versus Webflow's basic plan at $14. For mid-sized projects like blogs, Webflow's CMS plan is cheaper than Framer's pro plan, but that same pro plan makes Framer a bit cheaper for big projects. In the end, I'd call this a tie. Now with Framer, exports are literally design, copy, paste. With Webflow exports, apart from requiring some extra steps, you're incentivized to use Figma like you would use Webflow. Flow. That is more like a traditional drag and drop website builder. And this makes sense since in Webflow you don't have the design flexibility that you have in a tool like Figma or Framer, thus making it more important to perfect the structure before the actual export. But if you like design freedom and want a two-step export process, Framer takes the win. The CMS of Webflow is probably its strongest competitive advantage over Framer at this point. While you can create full-on e-commerce projects inside of Framer, it does require you to be a bit more creative in how you use the CMS when you have more complex setups. So therefore, the win goes to Webflow. Now, we already kind of covered that Framer feels like Figma. Hotkeys are similar, features are located in familiar places, and the overall design experience is so free. Freedom! A perfect tool for designers. In comparison, Webflow's UI with its classes, its drag and drop design experience, and its overall feature richness is perfectly suited for developers. So naturally, as a designer myself, I will have to go with Framer for this one as well. Because in what other tool, as a designer, can you create a custom website like the one I created in this video in 30 minutes? I've never been able to do that in any other tool. Now, until the next one, have a great life.